hi guys you're welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to discover why spiritual work is not working for you if you're coming across my video for the first time you're welcome to my channel my name is IJ Sarah and I share spiritual tips prayers that is going to help you in one way or the other whatever it is that you're facing Whatever it is that you're passing through, I have a spiritual tip in any of one of my videos that I'm sure that is going to help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So if you like that, do consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on your notification when you subscribe so that you'll be notified each time I upload videos. Like my videos, share them and comment. Whatever it is you want to tell me or talk to me about you can drop it in the comment section as you do that may god bless you so just like the title today discover why spiritual work is not working for you a lot of people will do some spiritual works and they will complain that it is not working for them like everything like as is working for others is not working for them there are a lot of hindrances, there are a lot of factors why it is not working for you. You can't just see a spiritual tip online and then you just try it out like that without any preparation. It doesn't work like that. You have to prepare. You have to prepare before you do anything in life. You have to prepare for it. So, same applies to spiritual work. There are some preparations that need to be done for spiritual work to work for you. Some of these preparations are one, these are things you have to do for spiritual work to work for you. One of its first is you have to do a midnight prayer or fasting. You can do a three days midnight prayer or a three days fasting. You can choose either of them. Midnight prayer or fasting, whichever one works for you, whichever one it's okay for you to do. So you can do, you can need either midnight prayer or fasting for three days before any spiritual work before you do any spiritual work first these are things you have to observe these are things you have to carry out before doing it first like i said is midnight prayer or fasting for three days whichever one so when you're done with midnight prayer then you do cleansing you have to cleanse yourself from every negative energy when there is negative energy around you, nothing good happens. It's just from one problem to the other, from one bad thing to the other, from one sickness to the other. So when you cleanse yourself from every negative energy, then good things will start happening in your life. Because all that will be left in your life is positive energy. So there are a lot of cleansing methods. Go through my videos, I've shared a lot of cleansing methods. There is the salt cleansing and so on. So go through my video, take one, whichever one your spirit accepts, and then do the cleansing. After doing your cleansing, the next thing is for you to believe whatever it is you're going to do. This is very, this is the most important one. You have to believe. Believe that God is going to answer your prayer. Invite the presence of God in whatever it is you're doing. All these natural things have spiritual powers. When you invite the presence of God in it, the spiritual power will begin to manifest. So everything, every spiritual work you're doing, invite the presence of God is the number one thing. You have to believe and invite the presence of God in it. So the next thing to do is, I keep saying it, do not meet your partner. Do not meet your partner whenever you're doing any spiritual work. Because spiritual work, you need to be pure, you need to be holy. It's a, it's a clean thing that you're doing. So you, you do not meet your partner while you're carrying out that spir uh, spiritual work. Once you're done, you can continue with your normal life. And whenever you're in your period for the ladies, please don't do any spiritual work. I know people do ask why why you know when you're on your period is the bad blood that is going out leaving the system so you don't need that when you're doing your uh, 
um, spiritual work. Spiritual work, you need to be pure, you need to be clean while doing your spiritual work. You don't need any wastes, any bad stuff. So whenever you're doing your spiritual work, please make sure that you finish your menstruation or you're not menstruating before doing it. So the next thing to do is follow the instruction. Whatever instructions that were given on how to carry out that spiritual work, follow it for the beginning to the end. Don't do it the way you, what you choose to do it or however I, I let me do it my own way. No, follow the instruction. There is a reason why they ask you, use one of this, use two of this, use a little quantity, use this. So follow the instructions the way it has been explained. And the next is, after following the instruction, the next thing you should do is if you know you're a spiritual woman or man if you know you do spiritual work a lot do not keep malice with people do not fight or quarrel with people no some people you come into their homes they don't talk to each other siblings they don't talk to each other husband and wife don't talk to each other they're keeping malice or they're quarreling and fighting each other if you're a spiritual woman or man you should learn to let go of some certain things you should learn to forgive it won't take much from you to forgive. I'm telling you. And except making, hindering your spiritual work, when you forgive people, it, it frees you. You feel lighter. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way. You feel lighter. Like, learn to forgive. Honestly. Keeping malice can hinder your spiritual work. Quarreling and fighting over them can hinder your spiritual work. When well, you know you're a spiritual person and you do spiritual works a lot, please learn to forgive. No matter what. I know it's not easy. It's not easy. Some people can really step on your toes, but learn to let go. Learn to let go of those things. So learn to forgive. And the next thing is giving. Giving. When you give to people, when you give to the less privileged, you're making way for progress. You're making way for blessings. You're making way for good things to happen to you. You're making way for your prayers to be answered. Learn to give. Don't say when I have much, when I have plenty, when I have any many or much, that is when I will give. No. The little you have, learn to share. Learn to give to others from the little you have. It mustn't be money. It could be foodstuffs. It could be water. It could be clothes. The clothes I mean they are not rags or not the ones that you know that people can use. No. Even the ones you wear or you feel like, oh, this person, someone there might need it more than I do. Someone there might need it more than I do. Then share with the person. Even the clothes, learn to share, not used clothes that are torn and worn out, the colors are not, no. Share clothes, share foodstuffs, those that are hungry, that you know they've not eaten, you can just call them to your house and then take your foodstuffs, some, it's not all, just a little rice, rice, beans, whatever, and packet it and then give it to the person. You're giving. And as long as it's from your heart, you're not just giving it, oh, I have a uh, spiritual work I want to do, let me just give this. It's not as if I want to give up, but let me just give it for my spiritual work. No, it's all work for you. It has to come from your heart. You have to truly want to help someone before it works for you. So learn to give, learn to share from the little you have. It could be shoes, it could be your kids used to wear um, clothes. The ones that are no longer wear it that are still needs. You can just look for all these people that can't afford it and then give it to them. Or the little you can do, just do it. All these things make way for spiritual works to work for you. All these things make it easy for good things to happen to you. When you cleanse yourself, you get rid of negative energy and invite positive energy in your life. When you don't keep malice, you see you feel lighter. You feel good about yourself. 
learn to forgive, give, learn to give, learn to share with people from the little you have. Cleanse yourself, cleanse your home. Always cleanse your home. Whenever you do it yourself, a personal cleansing, learn to also do your home cleansing too. Cleanse your home, cleanse yourself. Believe in God. Follow these instructions, these preparations I gave. And you will see all this spiritual work will be there as well. careful. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't. Like, share and comment. God bless you all. I will see you in my next video. But until then, remain blessed.